Hey everyone, Ben Yunsen here. You just heard me doing something which a lot of people have asked me about, and yet somehow we haven't yet discussed it here on my channel. And that thing is called playing outside. More specifically, what this means is that we'll be starting off with the sound of one chord, for example, an E minor chord, and subsequently playing improvised lines that superimpose the sound of another chord, for example, an F minor chord. Played in real time over an E minor sound, that concept might sound a little bit like this. There are many different ways to play outside of the harmony, and as we begin to superimpose more complex chords and or chord progressions, we begin to refer to this approach as harmonic superimposition. But regardless of whether you take a simple or a complex approach to playing outside, the basic principle that we need to adhere to is one of tension and release. Firstly, we need to create the tension over our original chord. And then we need to release the tension by resolving it. So today, I'd like to share with you three examples of playing outside that I use in my playing, and they all rely on a relatively basic principle which I'm going to explain in some more depth in just a moment. You can learn everything that we're going to be talking about today in more depth in my latest bundle package available at bensguitarclub.com, my newly updated and expanded mini lesson bundle, where you can learn 35 of my improvised lines throughout a total of seven mini lessons. You'll be able to use this collection of improvised lines to develop your soloing language over a variety of major, minor and dominant seven chords. You can also pick up all of my mini lessons and all of my full guitar master classes in the newly updated edition of the BGC bundle, which includes my classic how to practice courses, my etude packages and more. Only available at bensguitarclub.com. Let's jump into playing outside with a relatively basic sound and that is the pentatonic scale. Let's play a C minor pentatonic scale over a C minor seven chord. Now that's a pretty common sound that I'm sure most of you have heard before. After all, the pentatonic scale is one of the most vital sounds in the history of electric guitar soloing. But what if we make it a little bit more interesting by utilizing the pentatonic scale to play outside. We're now going to utilize an approach called side stepping or side slipping. And what that means is that we're going to take our C minor pentatonic scale and move it either down a half step to B minor or up a half step C minor to C sharp minor. The idea of this approach is that we'll be able to create some tension over our home chord C minor 7 by moving this scale, C minor pentatonic, up or down a half step. So if we were to move the scale once again up a half step to C sharp minor, this is what it would sound like against C minor. And then we resolve it. Back home to C minor pentatonic played in real time, you could turn it into something that sounds a bit like this. So let's take a closer look at what's going on in that line. Before we create any tension, we're just going to use the regular C minor pentatonic scale over C minor 7. Then we sidestep up to a C sharp minor pentatonic scale. And then we connect it back up to C minor pentatonic scale. 
now check out the connection to C sharp minor pentatonic, our side step again. And then resolving the tension back down to G, which is one of the notes in the C minor pentatonic scale. So you can hear me weaving in between the two scales and utilizing those principles of tension and release. Now let's focus on playing outside over a major chord type sound. Now this is going to be a little bit similar to the sidestepping that we just talked about, but this time we're going to be superimposing the sound of A flat minor over our G major 7 sound. And played in real time, utilizing the principles of tension and release, it's going to sound a little bit like this. So let's look at the first part of the phrase to work out what's going on here. We start off very clearly with a G major sound. And then we transition into our A flat minor sound. We continue along with that sound before resolving back to G major. Once again, tension and release. Finally, let's look at a line where I'm utilizing the E minor sound that we explored momentarily at the beginning of the video, where we'll be superimposing the sound of F minor, and played in real time, it'll sound a bit like this. This time, I'm going to leave it up to you to work out where the tension and subsequent release both take place. Or you can check out the in-depth theoretical explanation with a full transcription in tab and notation in my mini lesson, Five Improvised Lines Over Minor Chords, which is part of my mini lesson bundle. When you're developing this part of your playing, you can always take the harmony even further outside than what we talked about today and I'll certainly discuss this in greater depth in a future video. But for now, let me know down in the comments if you've experimented with this type of outside playing. Let me know what has worked for you, and perhaps what hasn't worked for you as well. I'd love to hear your take on this. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like so that we can push it out to as many people as possible. And consider subscribing to my channel so you don't miss any of my upcoming playing videos, lesson videos, a little bit like this one, and discussions about music. And if you'd like to learn how to play any of the three outside lines that I played for you today, make sure to check out my newly updated and expanded mini lesson bundle at bensguitarclub.com. And if you'd like to take your playing even further, make sure to check out the BGC bundle, which features all of my mini lessons and all of my full guitar masterclasses in one package. Have fun playing, and I'll see you next time.